A community is in shock following the deaths of these three people in southeast Georgia. The suspect in two of the murders is this former police lieutenant who is also dead. The McIntosh County Sheriff says former Glynn County Police Lieutenant Corey Sasser is the suspect in the murders of his ex-wife, Katie Kettle Sasser, and her friend Johnny Hall. Investigators say after their shootings, Sasser led police on a low-speed chase to a SWAT standoff in front of his Brunswick home. Deputies eventually found Sasser dead from a gunshot wound to the chest. News 4 Jacks reporter Corley Peel is live to show us more about what led up to the murders. Corley. Loved ones say that Katie Kettle Sasser and Johnny Hall's deaths could have been prevented and that Corey Sasser has threatened both of them in the past. Last night, then this normally quiet neighborhood was alerted by gunfire. Bullet holes remain on the side of this garage door from a shootout that led to the deaths of three people in southeast Georgia. A neighbor tells me she called police after hearing several gunshots. Well, I called the police and um, I said there's been shots fired. I've heard shots. I don't know what's going on. Deputies found 39 year old Johnny Hall dead in his driveway with his gun near his body. They noticed forced entry to the door and Katie Kettle Sasser dead inside. Investigators believe Katie's ex-husband, 41 year old former Glen County Lieutenant Corey Sasser is a suspect. They say he led police on a slow speed chase to his Glen County home. Sasser was found dead inside his truck with a gunshot wound to his chest hours after a SWAT standoff. The history with Corey Sasser has been so devastating in this community for so long. Loved ones say the tragic deaths could have been prevented. On May 13th, police arrested Sasser for domestic battery. On May 17th, officers arrested him a second time after a standoff with police. He was Baker acted, not allowed contact with his ex-wife, had to give up his guns, and was ordered to live with his sister in Alabama. He was also required to seek treatment for PTSD. Sasser could travel to Glen County, but could only stay for two hours for court appearances. The court system could have done a lot better of a job. They want to blame the probation, the probationers, the whoever was responsible for him not doing their job. But this goes further than that. And this goes back a long time. Now the Darien community is mourning the lives they believe could have been saved. Loved ones say that Katie Kettle Sasser and Corey Sasser had a young son together. They also say that Johnny Hall was a father as well. Report, reporting live from McIntosh County, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.